Hello there, it's your girl Daphne back with another video. This time I'm sharing three DIYs that are rope themed. I hope that you enjoy. Let's get started. So the first DIY is a farmhouse porch sign. And because it's such a beautiful day and because I just finished decorating my patio, I'm outside and I found this beautiful weathered board in my garage. It is about a 42 inch by nine inch board, which is the perfect size for porch sign. So I'm using my folk art Adirondack white chalk paint to give it a nice one coat of paint. And I'm doing it in a streaky fashion because I do not want to cover up all this beautiful weathered board. Now I'm going in and adding a little distress with my amazing blue paint. And as you can see, the planters on the table also use the same blue paint. So I'm just going in and I just want to give it a little character. I don't want to give it too much color, just the right amount. So I'm using a sponge brush and I'm just going in and wherever I think that the blue would look nice, I'm going in and just doing a nice streaky effect. So as you guys know, I recently um, received a Cricut machine and I had a video, it was my last uh, patio video where I did a tutorial and I did beginner Cricut programs. So if you have not watched that video, I will link it in the cards and also leave a link in the description so that you can enjoy that amazing video. So what I'm doing here is I measured the overall size of the board and I'm just laying out the word hello so we're gonna make this uh, porch sign say hello there obviously since that's the way I greet it greet everyone every single video all the time hello there so I thought that it would be appropriate to have this on my front porch so I can welcome everyone to my home So instead of doing ordinary paint, I decided to use rope. I think that it's gonna turn out amazing. It's gonna give it a nice farmhouse twist. And once I laid out all of um, my rough layout of the word hello, I just started going in with the rope and I'm using a glue gun and I'm just gluing it down. So I'd like to welcome everyone to my channel. Anyone that's new and clicked on my video for the first time, welcome. And all of my loyal subscribers, welcome back. I hope that everyone enjoys this video. So to bring this sign to the next level, I used my Cricut machine and I made there in vinyl, in permanent vinyl. So I went through the whole process, the same that I did the last time. So now I'm just transferring the there with my little scraper onto the wood and it looks absolutely amazing. So what do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below if you like it. Also, I just wanna mention, I will have all of my Cricut um, discount information linked in the description box, so check it out. So our second DIY is a boho door hanger. And what I'm doing is I'm utilizing one of those little wooden snake toys that I purchased 
uh, the other month from the Dollar Tree and I'm also using some rope. Now the length of the rope is going to be um, based on how long you want your hanger to be. So you need to do your overall measuring. And what I did was I did three strands. I made one of the strands longer so that I can wrap it and join it to the wooden snake. And then once I have all three pieces uh, glue gun together, now I'm going to do a long braid to finish off the top of the door hanger. This looks absolutely beautiful and I can't believe that I was able to use this wooden snake in a different way. I've never seen anyone else do this type of um, DIY before so I'm very excited to be the first to share it and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So now that we've finished um, making the braid, I'm just taking the long strand and I'm wrapping it around to join the snake to the braid. And then I'm going in with some hot glue to secure it. To add a little decoration, I'm adding in this family galvanized uh, steel uh, little word on the uh, door hanger. I purchased this a couple of years ago from Joanne Craft, and I'm finally able to uh, use it on one of my DIYs. And to finish this off, I'm going to use two of these beautiful flowers. I think that they're called Delilah's. If it's not, leave me a comment down below and let me know what these type of flowers are. But I'm calling them Delilah's for now. So what do you guys think? I think that it's gonna look amazing on my front door. Our third DIY is a candle holder. Now we all have the same type of candles lying around and I think that the candles look nice but they can look even better. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a basic cover with rope. You just want to make sure that you have the glass. You do not want to attach the cover to the candle. You want it to be free. So I just went in and I measured to make sure that the rope that I'm starting will be wide enough to be able to fit the candle inside. Then I removed it from the candle just to start to make sure that I wouldn't be gluing the actual rope to the candle. So you'll see me go back and forth where I'm just double checking to make sure that the dimension I'm maintaining as I build the holder. So leave me a comment down below if you have a lot of candles lying around and if you think that you might make something like this. It doesn't have to be with rope, it can be with any type of um, material. I could see braided yarn being nice, I could see the mop head that I've done on other crafts um, that I purchased from the Dollar Tree being really nice. So all you have to do is just have a little imagination 
and an idea and you can make something amazing. Now, if you put a bottom on this, it also can be a holder. You can use it as an organizer for your desk. It's endless, the possibility of what this DIY could be. So I hope that you're able to recreate it. Enjoy. Now when I work with rope and I do this type of application, the last step I do is just to burn off all of the flyaways. You can do this or you can skip it, but it gives it a nice like finished effect and it looks very earthy. And there you have it all finished and looking amazing all lit up there. So I just want to thank you guys for watching yet another video. I like to remind you if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share with any friends and family that might like my content. And before you leave, make sure you check the description box because I'm going to link down there tons of videos. I want you to catch up on all of my content and show me a little love. Have a blessed day.